I got a hot take that I'm very interested to share with all of you. And you can agree and you can disagree. It won't matter because my opinion is just like everybody else's opinions. A butthole and it stinks. I don't hate transgenders. I don't hate transgender men. I don't hate transgender women. I hate trans activists. I line them up with all the other activists and all these other marginalized groups. People who don't do any research. People who don't know what they're doing. People who don't even know what they're fighting for. They just see buzzwords and headlines. They don't read anything past the headline and they'll say, I'm going to make myself look like a fool because this marginalized group needs my help. And the marginalized group is too chicken shit to call the stupid things you do out. So they're going to tuck their head between their legs and say, we just want to keep everything positive. There's a bill or some state law in Oklahoma that apparently is derogatory towards transgenders. But if I read it, I guarantee you it probably isn't. Anyway, you have people who are upset about it and they're saying, we're going to protest. And before I continue, there's nothing wrong with protesting. If you feel there is something wrong in society or in your area and you want to make a change that's actually positive, protest. Don't vandalize people's property. Don't go out and graffiti a bunch of areas thinking that that's going to help you. Actually come up with an argument, do some research, and present it to people so that they know, hey, what's going on in this area is actually wrong. Here's what I believe could be the way to fix it and with the community's help we can make something better but a lot of people don't want to do that a lot of people want to go the stupid route because they believe doing stupid things is going to get them what they want not in reality you have a trans activist who went to this protest thinking i'm going to fight with my trans brothers and sisters and we're going to fight to make a difference and then they're punching a state trooper well a day of protesting turns violent at the capitol People listened in as the House voted on a new bill that, if it becomes law, will ban gender reassignment surgeries and procedures for minors and for any adults using insurance. News 4's Nick Camper is live tonight with what all went down there. Nick. Yeah, the Capitol has hosted trans rights activists multiple times this session. Unfortunately, today it did get violent when a protester threw water at a state representative and then hit a state trooper while being escorted out of the building. As lawmakers leave the House floor, you can see a trooper react and people standing by cover themselves as water is hurled at State Representative Bob Ed Culver. From there, the trooper tries to escort the protester outside. But then more water is thrown, leading the trooper to make an arrest. Down the stairs, the trooper is hit. This comes after the House voted to pass a bill that would ban gender-affirming care for minors and for adults that use insurance to pay for procedures. Adults are free to uh, do as they, they please with this. They're just not going to be able to use their insurance. Democrats upset with the provision, saying it sends a clear message to the trans community of Oklahoma. It doesn't matter if you're 18 or younger. If you cannot afford health care, then you do not have the opportunity to stay in Oklahoma and live your life. Protesters in the gallery voice their concerns. <laughs> House Bill 2177 also prevents organizations that receive public funds from performing procedures. When we have health care students that write me narrative after narrative about how they are afraid on what they can do, and so they are already looking at options outside of this state, we are creating a health care drain. Up to this point, I think we can safely say there's not enough evidence to put our children out on a huge experiment. Violators of the bill would lose public funding for at least a year and health care workers would lose their licenses for a year. Author Kevin West says Oklahoma needs to take a watch and wait approach. They need compassionate, effective mental health care. It's not my job as a representative to parent other people's kids. We did get a statement from Representative Culver this afternoon. He says he's going to be pressing charges and essentially said he could have ignored the water being thrown on him, but he cannot ignore when a state trooper is assaulted. There was also a statement released from Freedom Oklahoma saying they are going to set up bail support for the person that was arrested. You are stupid for what you think you could have possibly done in this scenario. You're going to face a consequence because I believe the state trooper is pressing charges because it's assault. You can bore me with the 
terminology of wanting to fight for rights and I will respond with, does that mean you should be okay to violate and assault state troopers because your fifis got hurt over a bill I know you didn't read? You look stupid trying to go the route of being violent instead of talking, instead of using your lips to actually construct an argument that makes sense to say, hey, this thing, it offends me and I'm gonna actually, instead of crying about it on Twitter, deal with it in a way that can actually be positive for society, not just my personal fifis. But you're stupid. You don't know how to handle arguments. You don't know how to handle confrontation. So you think your way is the best way. And anybody who says otherwise, they're a bigot who's just oppressing your mainframe and how you want to walk about life. Trans women are women. So if you're heterosexual and you're a man and you said you wouldn't date a trans woman because it's a preference, that's just transphobia, period. The majority of the time, our preferences are rooted in something problematic. It could be trauma, racism, transphobia, the list goes on. If you want to find out what your problematic preferences are, click the link in my bio and watch this video. I am now going to take you all through an example. This person asked why it's transphobic to not want to date a trans woman. Already starting off on the wrong foot by referring to cis women as regular women. Then says something about trans women not being able to carry children. If that's your sole reason for dating someone, keep that same energy for all the women who are infertile. My new year's resolution is to bully people into using my pronouns because just because I am feminine presenting doesn't mean that I am a woman and and non-binary people don't owe you androgyny, so if I tell you my pronouns are they, he, you're gonna use they, he, bitch! Person to misgender me might get a punch in the face, and I really don't know what to say because there's nothing I can do about it. Don't blame me, you're the one that misgendered me, my hands are just the ones that reacted. I get asked all the time, Gracie, is it okay to be cis? And honestly, no. Cis people are a disease. Get well soon. No. Punching state troopers when you're trying to protest is the dumbest thing you could possibly do. And anybody who saw this that's saying, hey, we should have a GoFundMe, we should donate money to let them out, congratulations. You make yourself out to be stupid children who don't know how to do anything except bitch, moan, whine, and bitch again when you don't get your simple-minded way. I wish you would read the bill. I didn't read the bill. I'm just assuming that there's terminology in there that apparently offended. That's not really offended fitting anybody. I wish whoever punched this state trooper a horrible time through the legal process because you are a dumb human being and as usual when you play a stupid game you win a stupid prize and I will be honest as I've said in the past Big Tyrone really does love white chocolate. Subscribe to the channel I will see y'all in the next one. Goodbye.